So welcome to the Cinema Museum. My name's John Davis and I'm a volunteer here and I teach film studies here as well. This is an amazing building. It's the old workhouse from 1871 and it's what remains of it. So what makes this special is that it's the place where Charlie Chaplin, his brother Sidney and his mum came when they fell on poor times. And Chaplin came back several times later to see his mother once he got out of the workhouse. But it's been the home of the Cinema Museum in Kennington now um, for many years and we have a collection here of amazing things about going to cinema, seats, uniforms, costumes, signs, posters, stills, and it's just amazing. And we have lots and lots of screenings here and this afternoon we're showing a film um, and in the evenings we show silent films and people come here and it's a wonderful place and we hope that it's going to have a great future. So perhaps come inside and have a look. So many film museums around the world concentrate on the films themselves. This is a museum that has a great deal more about going to the pictures, going to the cinema, what it was like and how cinemas work. So I'm surrounded by projectors that go right back to the early days of cinema, the early days of silent films and sound films. So these are extraordinary relics now of a time when we projected film. Nowadays everything's digital. And also the old signs that you'd see outside a cinema. Um, telling you whether the f cinema was full, whether there were still seats, um, how much the seats were, and also, very importantly, the certificates that the films had. So, this is a particularly amazing one. This is from a time when we still had a category H for horror, which is something that um, even I don't remember. So this is a collection that's been, been built up over the years of things that would otherwise have just been thrown away. And they're a memory of the great working class art of the 20th century cinema. And it's just utterly beautiful. This is a cinema usherette's uniform from the 1930s. It was for the Majestic Aberdeen, run by uh, the Donalds family. They were a family firm who had a uh, 13 cinemas in Aberdeen at their height. Uh, they only have uh, Her Majesty's now, which is mostly a theatre. But uniforms were terrifically common. Um, all cinema chains had different uniforms. Even small independent cinemas, they would be wearing a uniform. Um, they lasted till about the 1960s and then slowly got phased out. Um, okay, so the Cinema Museum's collect thing, collected things that otherwise will just become f vague memories and so it's keeping part of history alive that is really important to understanding what happened in the 20th century. So for instance the usherettes torches, the special signs for the children's shows and these the spray cans that they'd spray on the audiences to keep the place smelling nice at a time when people didn't bath quite so much, didn't change their clothes quite so much and smoked a great deal. We've also got some weird stuff like collections of cinema teapots, which somebody's given us. So that's kind of amazing. And then the cinemas themselves, if you look along here, would actually design their own seats. And here's a variety of, of seat rows from chains of cinemas. So it's really quite amazing. And then some of the lobby photos that would have attracted people in to see their favorite film stars. And here we've got some of the very earliest sound film equipment at a time when you used to play the sound from a gramophone record. You run the film on the projector and run a gramophone record alongside it. it. Caused all sorts of problems if the gramophone record slipped, if the film had lost a few frames, everything went out of sync. So it wasn't a system that lasted too long. Well, this is our Charlie Chaplin gallery. Obviously, Charlie Chaplin was associated with this when he was here in the workhouse. And we're trying at the moment to have a mm, sort of really big statue built of Charlie Chaplin in the Elephant and Castle development. But in this case here, you'll see some of the amazing, basically, tat of, that was produced to make money out of Charlie Chaplin. So we've got some, a selection of statues that are universally um, appalling probably. They don't look like Charlie Chaplin at all. And a variety of books and things that commemorate him.
and more cinema uniforms. And in here, this is the old chapel where at the workhouse people would come to worship. It was a bit of a relief from the day to day. Chaplain remembers coming here for Christmas um, parties. And it's full of exciting equipment and books and big signs and the old, just up here, if you, if you pan up here, you'll see the giant horns that used to go behind the screen in the old 1930s cinemas. And this is where um, Jonathan and I this morning have been editing pages on um, film pages around Wikipedia. This is the third editathon I think we've done here. We've gathered photographs of the collection, we've done other editing, and we'd like to do a Bollywood edit sometime, wouldn't we? So we would. There's, there's a very good um, collection of Indian Bollywood cinema posters here. And um, uh, we've, we've done a backstage pass and we had a photo opportunity uh, a while back, which was very popular. Yeah. So it's a big wiki-friendly place and all our images from the Cinema Museum have been released on open licence through Commons, which is excellent. Well done, the Cinema Museum. I wish I knew that there was a, a, a bar here. Um, before. Bar, and um, we can, you know, if you want to rent it for events, that's how we make the money. There are no staff, it's all volunteers. So you can rent it for bar mitzvahs, marriages, we've had <laughs> weddings, all sorts of stuff. It's fantastic, you know, really, really good. And um, parties, 120 seats. Ronald, one of the directors. <laughs> Excellent. I might take some... Um, Cutaways, yes. Good.